is worth points and a half. So if here in the grade eight, if you win tonight instead of 20, you get 30. I need that 10 extra points. I drew Justin Swanstrom first round. Uh, him and I have raced a bunch this year. We got a good record against him. They're starting to figure their car out, which makes it tough for me. But we've had a handle on ours all, all year. But what that means is he's starting to get closer and closer. Watch behind you. Heads up. We're down here in Rockingham, North Carolina. This is the first time that No Prep Kings has been here. I ran here about 10 years ago when I was running small tire class. It was rough back then. Track is still rough today. I think this race this weekend is going to be a tuner and driver's race. It's going to be able who can make it to the finish line. It ain't going to be about who's the fastest. It's just see who's going to win. Justin come from a racing background. He is no stranger to drag racing whatsoever. But uh, we're just going to hustle and try to keep him losing. All right, folks. This one right here is going to be a good one. Over in the right lane, driving the green Lexus, that is going to be Justin Swanstrom. And he is going up against your current points leader. Over in the left lane, that's going to be Ryan Martin. So Ryan Martin versus Justin Swanstrom coming at you right now. Up there, trying to do my race. I've been working on the tree. I feel like a lot of these races I've been losing here lately have been on the light. So if I can, uh, if I can work on the tree and get out in front of them, hopefully we can move on to round two. Able to get there first, puts Ryan on the trailer for the night. I'll your ass up. Hey, they called me, they called me a car lane. I really took the last two weeks to focus on really trying to cut a good light. I knew if I cut a good light, I was going to be able to be out in front. I didn't think he'd come around me. I was excited to beat Ryan, but I'm excited for the next round. I got to figure out who I'm going to race. Let's go do my job. Let the car do its job. Let's see if we will get a win tonight. Can you make a I, I, I mean, I was shaking. But I it went, it. but it wasn't very good. It was the same deal. Shaking, moving around. I almost crashed it and I hit the... It was over to the left, the after the strike. It was over to the left. It moved. And I pulled the chute, just tried to ease it back over, and it slid sideways to come back over. That shutdown is sketchy. But I believe it. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, good job, though. Thanks, man. Well, this track is bumpy. It's got a big bump in the middle of it. It's probably the worst track we've been to all year. So we did some things with traction control to try to make sure it was right and wasn't going to knock the tire off, and we just held it back too much. So we left even. We were just door to door the whole way, and just like I thought at 3 3.30, he just drives away. Uh, you know, put a good, probably solid car on me. You're head up for a little bit, right? Can't we can't race him with two ups like that. So I'm trying to tell the you can't do it. I can deal with not winning the grade eight, especially for the fact that Kai went out early too. So I'm still points up on, on Kai, but if I'm not careful, Justin can sneak on in the back door. And we don't want that. So I've got to figure this car out for tomorrow. And by doing that, that means I got to make a test hit tonight that's a good test hit. I don't want to fill it up with fuel. We got to make fuel somehow. Yeah, no, don't fill it up with fuel. I don't know that we'll run again. I'm not sure what to do. 